back to the shed. You join me for a day out today at the 2024 Goodwood Festival of Speed. It's the Friday here, so the second day of the show. Um, weather's not great, although it's not raining at the moment, which is good, it's overcast, but uh, hopefully it stays dry. But we just, just come in in the uh, supercar parking. Now so just having a look around at that, which is, uh, which is always entertaining before you even get in the show, but I'll uh, try and show you uh, Try and show you the highlights of the show. Oh, just seen a Viper down there, that's a treat. And a very nice M3 competition. But, uh, but yeah, go and see what we can see. This year I was lucky enough to be chauffeured down to Goodwood by a friend of mine in his very nice 235i. So I was able to take in the beautiful scenery around Goodwood as well as, of course, the lovely sound of a BMW's Trade 6. As always, even the public car park uh, had a few treats in store for us. So we had a, a sort of look around that on, as we moseyed our way in. And, uh, and then that took us straight into the supercar parking. So, so there was some real, uh, real treats in there. I would f***ing love one of them. After that, we were into one of the paddock areas for modern and historic race cars, uh, all of which I think will uh, would at some point be going up the hill that day. So uh, they were getting worked on, so it was being run. So that was a real treat to uh, to be able to hear some of the monstrous engines running. Oh, so good! I was getting hungry by this point because I hadn't had anything to eat, so I thought I'd better get some sustenance to keep you going for the rest of the day. Yeah, can I have a uh, apple sauce and hot dog, please? Thanks, man. We saw the first celebrity of the day, Mr. David Coulthard, and then we headed into the Cartier enclosure and uh, went and had a look at the BMW, Rolls-Royce and Singer displays. Red Bull had a big display, which although I'm not really into Formula One, was very impressive. And we also saw the second celebrity of the day, Mr. Adrian Newey. After watching those couple of insanely loud drift cars go up the hill, we got into the supercar paddock, which was absolutely incredible. There were so many new super and hyper cars, I just didn't know where to look. We're currently perving on a car pervert, Johnny Smith. Then we saw perhaps the biggest A-list celebrity of the day, Francis Bourgeois, the train man. all sorts of different cars go up the hill from F1 cars to drift cars to rally cars and even the electric hypercar the McMurtry Spirit Spe Spearling Spearling anyway after that we uh, made our way across the track to go and have a look at all of the OEM stands and the trade stalls we saw Mark McCann and some fireworks to mark 100 years of MG and then had a real treat from BMW that is some flipping BMW perfection. Oh, look at that. Oh, why didn't I buy one of these when they were cheap? Well, the BMW stand is a massive disappointment, apart from the old cars that they used to produce. The E60, E39, and the E28 M5s looking lovely.
I went to the car vertical stand hoping to see Matt Armstrong, but he, I don't think he was there that day, so I had to have a selfie with his uh, cardboard cutout. But it was cool to see a couple of the cars that I've been following the, the uh, rebuilds of on his channel, so uh, that was nice. But after wandering round and round numerous times and thoroughly knackering our legs out, it was time to go, so we took a slow amble back through the public car park to find our car and uh, saw some more treats on the way. Oh, so good. Well, that was it for the Festival of Speed 2024. Not quite as good as last year's show, but still very worthwhile. If you've not been yourself, I definitely recommend it. Anyway, thanks for watching.